Great. So welcome everyone. Welcome to the Parkinson's Foundation's Mindfulness Monday. This is your mindful Parkinson's community from all around the nation and crossing borders. It's really um, quite beautiful community we have here. Uh, my name is Krista Ellis. I am community program manager with the Parkinson's Foundation and joining me is my colleague Jennifer DeGruccio. Welcome back, Jen. Uh, just to orient you for our new members today, everyone will be muted for the duration of the session, so don't worry about um, being heard. <laughs> we do like to use the chat feature to communicate with one another, so feel free if you're just tuning in, let us know where you're coming from, where you're joining from. Um, if you have any questions or comments, thoughts, feelings, inspirational ideas uh, that you want to share, suggestions for future mindfulness meditations. And you'll notice that we all really like to join each other on video if we have the capacity to. So feel free, um, if you're comfortable with it, to join us on camera, just being mindful what that camera is pointing at. Uh, next week, we are off. Um, we're off on our English mindfulness sessions. Next week is for our Spanish community. Uh, so tune into our Mindfulness Mondays on our YouTube channel or go to parkinson.org slash pbhealth um, to tune into other programs. So on the screen, you'll see our schedule. Again, next live English Mindfulness Mondays is August 29th. It'll be Mental Wellbeing with Dr. Taylor Rush. This Wednesday, Wellness Wednesday, August 17th, we're having a care partner program asking for support in building your informal care team. And this Friday, we are doing our live Fitness Friday on August 19th, featuring physical optimization, functional fitness for Parkinson's disease. If you want to stay in touch with us this week, please note that Zoom did do, do an update, I think about a week ago. So update your version of Zoom to continue to join our PD Health at Home programs. You can learn more at zoom.us website. Special announcement for our care partners here. We are hosting regional care partner summits across the United States. I will be in Atlanta, Georgia on November 5th, our Southeast Regional Care Partner Summit. You'll see other ones listed with their dates and respective web pages to learn more at. And Jennifer is going to link those web pages in the chat. Giving thanks to our sponsor, Light of Day Foundation. Their generosity makes our program like today possible. If you're new to Parkinson's or have questions about how you're progressing or want to learn something new about what's going on in the Parkinson's arena, visit our website at parkinson.org. We did launch a new website last week, so um, bear with us. So there's some navigational changes, um, but get ready and excited to to see the new layout for the website, that's parkinson.org. And we do have our bilingual helpline 1-800-4-PD-INFO. You can also email us at helpline at parkinson.org. <sighs> How are we doing today? Getting some head nods, getting nothing. <laughs> that's okay. So um, for those of you who know me, know that I like to st start and open with just a really quick, um, deep, mindful breath, just to welcome our space together and get our bodies and minds and hearts prepared for what we're about to receive. So just get your feet planted down, finding a comfortable position, whether that's lying down or sitting down, or if you're walking, um, just find a place of comfort. And just close the eyes if you're okay with that, or you can stare at my bright, shining face, the screen. Good, when you're ready, take a deep breath in. And let it go. And two more, at your own pattern, deep breath in. And release. The last one, make it worth it. Breathing in and breathing out. Sharing a poem to open our session. 
It's called I Carry It With Me from the Touch of 10,000 Words. Somewhere there is a place where I belong, where an orchestra plays my favorite song. Butterflies gather and birds fly high, a beautiful place in a sunlit sky. I wake and I wonder the land of the free, where souls dance happy and the shore meets the sea. Mermaids chat and whisper the day, and gods of hope are not far away. The place where I belong sits right in my hand. It lies in oceans blue and drifts of hot sand. I carry it with me for my eyes to see that the place I belong sits within me. I always love to circle back to where we start in mindful meditation. And I continue to get questions every session on why we focus on breathing when it comes to meditation. Mindful presence, being aware of what is happening in this existing moment is really helpful to kind of start to cultivate by using the tool of breath. So mindfulness in and of itself is being present in the moment. So I'm gonna use a phrase to kind of guide us through our moments today. It was in, out, deep, slow, calm, ease, smile, release. So we'll start with the first part, in and out. Thich Nhat Hanh, you guys know at the last session, I've been studying with him and reading his um, literature for some time now, Thich Nhat Hanh, You Are Here. This is the book where I've gotten a lot of guidance for today's inspiration for today's um, session. So he wrote this, in, out, deep, slow, calm, ease, smile, release. So in and out, breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know I am breathing out. When we recognize what we're doing, it brings us right into the present moment. So having this awareness of our breath can give us this kind of moment of simple recognition. So let's try it just to get started. And close your eyes if you want. Empty the lungs. Good breathing in. I know I am breathing in. Breathing out. I know I am breathing in. Then you can say it out loud or together. Breathing in. I know I am breathing in. And breathing out. I know I am breathing in. Good, a few more deep breath in. Breathing in, I know I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know I am breathing in. Breathing in, I know I am breathing in. And breathing out, I know I am breathing out. So awareness of the breath brings us to a full awareness of our existing moment, this moment. And this can also translate to our emotions. We have to start with simple recognition. I'm coming to the second part of Thich Nhat Hanh's guidance. In and out, deep and slow. Deep in this case doesn't mean that we're trying to make our inhalation deeper. It just means that after a few moments of awareness, you might've noticed this, that we are breathing and we are breathing out. You may notice that as you're breathing in and breathing out, it becomes deeper and slower. Did anyone notice that? Maybe not. <laughs> okay. The part about mindful breathing. Mindfulness should feel enjoyable and pleasant. 
Okay, a couple of you are smiling when we're doing it. It shouldn't feel like a hard labor. So if the breath that you're trying to manipulate feels like work, try a different way of breathing, okay? It shouldn't feel like hard labor. That means that you're deliberately creating tension and conflict within yourself. And when we have these moments of mindful breathing, mindful awareness, we want to make sure that we're not giving ourselves any more tension or creating tension or conflict. So finding that in and out breath that feels good and safe to you. The third part, calm and ease. This is where we start to begin to talk about weathering emotional storms. Using moments of mindful breathing can give us time and space to calm our emotions, our perceptions, and our feelings. The last time we were all together with me, we talked about our perceptions and feelings. When you can use mindful breath, we can use that tool to start to calm that storm of emotions and feelings. So we'll say, breathing in, I calm my feelings. Breathing out, I smile at my feelings. Let's try it. Breathing in, I calm my feelings. Breathing out, I smile at my feelings. Good, four more times. Breathing in, I calm my feelings. Breathing out, I smile at my feelings. Three more. Breathing in, I calm my feelings. Breathing out, I smile at my feelings. Breathing in, I calm my feelings. Breathing out, I smile at my feelings. Good, one more. Breathing in. I calm my feelings, breathing out, and I smile at my feelings. So some days we might feel that tug or that pull of undesirable emotions or feelings. We can practice this mantra. These are just tools that I'm giving each of you to try and use in your everyday life, before bed, a conflict with a family member or doctor. <laughs> Using this mantra, breathing in, I calm my feelings, breathing out, I smile at my feelings. When we notice this tug or this pull of this less desirable and pleasant emotion to help calm the emotional storm. So Thich Nhat Hanh shares the example. A strong emotion is like a storm. If you look at a tree in a storm, the top of the tree seems fragile. It's really moving around. Like it might break at any moment, and sometimes it does. You might have the fear that that storm is going to uproot the tree in the front yard or the backyard. But if you bring your attention to the trunk of the tree, you realize that its roots are deeply anchored in the ground, and you see that that tree is able to hold itself up. So I'm going to say this. You too are a tree. When we weather the storms of emotions, we should try and move away from the perception that is guided by our head. All these thoughts, this dialogue, all these possibilities, what if, what if, what if, what if, and of our heart, oh, but it hurts so bad, I feel so bad, and come down into the gut is what I like to say. This is our intuition, our instinct, our roots. In yoga, we often see that the heart is the eye of the storm. Can you imagine why? <laughs> it really, when we move and react through emotions, it can give us a strong reaction. So I encourage you that next storm that comes your way, see if you can bring that awareness outside of your head, outside of your heart, and down into your belly, breathing into your belly. Have you practiced belly breathing before? Let's try it. So belly breathing, you know, especially us women and men, all of us really in American society are told to pull it in, right? Hold your belly in, pull that gut in. <laughs> Here, I'm going to give you permission to fully let your belly be big. 
Okay, relax the belly. Nobody's looking. Feel the belly on top of your thighs. That's fine. It's beautiful, in fact. Good. And just place your hands on your belly so you can feel your hands on your tummy. Good. Now I see lots of us doing this with your shoulders. See if you can relax the shoulders down. Good. Breathe in. And as you breathe in, you feel the stomach start to push back into the hands and breathe out. The belly pulls in, like the navel almost comes back towards the spine. This is belly breathing. Let's try again, breathing in. And breathing out. And watch your shoulders. Breathe in. Breathe out. I know I'm breathing out. Good. Another breath into the belly. Good. You can let go of the hands. I'll keep them there if that feels good. So it's important to understand that emotion is merely something that arises, hangs around for a bit, and then it goes away. A storm comes, stays a while, makes some disruption sometimes, and then it moves on. So remember that you are much more than just your emotions. If you are feeling something, it is temporary and we can move through it, especially by using that belly breathing. I'm gonna share another poem with you guys that one of my yoga teachers um, read during a yoga class. It's called The Oak Tree by Johnny Ray Ryder Jr. A mighty wind blew night and day that stole the oak tree's leaves away, then snapped its boughs and pulled its bark until the oak was tired and stark. But still the oak tree held its ground while other trees fell all around. The weary wind gave up and spoke, how can you still be standing, oak? The oak tree said, I know that you can break each branch of mine in two, carry every leaf away, shake my limbs and make me sway. But I have roots stretched in the earth, growing stronger since my birth. You'll never touch them for you see, they are the deepest part of me. Until today, I wasn't sure of just how much I could endure. But now I found with thanks to you, I'm stronger than I ever knew. The practice of letting go. And I imagine each of you felt a little tug in the heart, like, oh no, she wants me to let go of something. I don't want to let go of it. I want to hold on to it. <laughs> there are many ideas, things, people, experiences, stuff that can cause our own suffering, especially in Parkinson's. Here, Every person, every nation has an idea of what happiness is, what it looks like, what a happy person should be like, what they should have. And so I wanna ask you to share some of these statements. I'll be happy when. I'll be happy when I own my own home. I'll be happy when my house is clean. <laughs> I'll be happy when my husband does the dishes. I'll be happy when I drive a BMW. I'll be happy when my tremor stops. I'll be happy when my wife stops nagging me to exercise. So think of some of those I'll be happy when statements. And if you'd like, you can share them in the chat with me. When I live in the now, I'm always happy. <laughs> I'll be happy when the hurricane in my mind clears. Joan, I thought of this one when um, I was writing this, writing today's session. Joan shares, I'll be happy when there's a cure for Parkinson's. But in the meantime, when I hear my cat purr, <laughs> I'll be happy when my wife gets better. I'll be happy when I sit on the patio and watch the birds.
I'll be happy when I'm living within 60 miles of a drive to see my grandchildren. All of these thoughts are holding you back from happiness now. We become prisoners to these thoughts of when I will be happy, right? We're not living then, we're living now. And so when we offer these types of I'll be happy when moments can really get in the way of how we are living our life now. Conflict, suffering, pain, your frustration with Parkinson's, can have a really impact, a significant impact on how you decide to approach each day. It's a good day. It's a bad day. It's an okay day. Our concepts and ideas of how things should be will not let us really surrender to the beautiful moments that truly are right now, even with the Parkinson's. So think about this idea of I'll be happy when, and try to identify this idea or concept that might be limiting you from having a joyful life right now. So we're gonna do a little practice of letting go. We've got a few minutes, so we're gonna start. So as always, find a space, a seat, or lying down or walking, wherever you choose to have these next few mindful moments, find a space that feels safe and comfortable for you. And close your eyes if that feels okay. Let the shoulders start to drop away from your ears. I'm going to give you just a moment of silence just to feel whatever is happening in the brain or in the body. It's no right or wrong. Just allow what's present to be here. And then to start to bring us into a more full awareness of the present moment. We'll start that mindful breathing. Emptying the lungs out. And breathing in. I know that I am breathing in. Breathing out. I know that I am breathing out. Breathing in. I know that I am breathing in. And breathing out. I know that I am breathing out. Breathing in, I know that I am breathing in. And breathing out, I know that I am breathing in. And let yourself say those words as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Just starting to get connected to this moment. With our awareness on our breath, in and out. Deep and slow. Calm and ease. And now bring your awareness to the muscles around your eyes. And just notice if there might be some tension that you can release and let go. And 
And that awareness as you breathe in and as you breathe out and come to your lips. Noticing if you're holding any tension around the lips, the jaw, the tongue. See if you can give more space around the face, breathing in. I know that I am breathing in. Breathing out, I know that I am breathing in. Deep and slow, calm and ease. And take the next few moments to scan your body. If you've started holding the belly back in, see if you can let go. If there's muscles or tightness in the thighs or hips, letting go. Notice if your tremor has started to speak up. And if the frustration has gotten loud, just see what it might feel like to let go. Of how you think things should be. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. When you feel ready, you gently flutter with your beautiful eyes open. Maybe share a smile for yourself and for others who might be able to see you. And just a minute after the half hour, if you gotta go, go. If you wanna stick around for three or four more minutes, stick around. We haven't had a chance to read through the chat yet. So let me see if there's any questions. Okay, Renee says, I will be happy when I finally test negative for COVID. Yes, Renee, I, <laughs> I fully accept that. <laughs> if you have any comments or questions about today's session topic, of letting go, let me know. Um, mine and Jennifer's email lives on the PD Health at Home Mindfulness Monday website. So if you'd like, you can reach out to us by email. And remember, next week we aren't meeting live, but we'll be together on August 29th. Okay. All right. Breathing in. And breathing out. See if you can let go of something. We'll see you guys August 29th. Bye.